All right, this is what I'm calling motor wars. And these are two pulse motors that I've made that uh, I'm testing one against the other using the same value supercapacitor charged up to the same amount. And I found out that an electronic version of a small pulse motor will outperform the reed switch depending on how the motor is built. And this was an example of why I, I use supercapacitors as opposed to just batteries. Uh, in a very short period of time, I can take a look at performance uh, pretty easily. Uh, this is um, basically like a Newman motor. It's got the coils on either side of the rotor. Uh, they're, they're series wound. They're connected in such a way that when a coils uh, fire, uh, it turns on both sides of the magnet. On this uh, system here, there's a little pancake coil under there. only pushes on one side of that magnet when the reed switch uh, fires the circuit. Uh, this is the circuit I'm using on the little uh, Newman motor. It's a two transistor complementary, a PNP and an NPN. Uh, this is Dad Hab's circuit that he put forth. And you can see I've just got a uh, series wound motor here that when the uh, coils fire, they push on both sides of the magnet. It's more efficient. And uh, today is the 17th of October 2013. And like I say, that's a, that's a winner right there on this little uh, tiny Newman motor. This will run twice as long with the same amount of energy as that motor there. Let me put some in it and I'll show you how it works. Let's load this up here. Give it a, a jolt of energy. There it goes. I'll put some energy in this one. And there that one goes. And like I say, uh, this is an example of how you can pit the two motors against one another with the same uh, value capacitors filled up with about the same amount. And in a couple of minutes, you can see who's winning. And uh, you can also look at the amp draw and, and uh, use your finger just to feel the torque on the shaft. And this one has more torque and once twice as long as that motor right there. And uh, that's the clear winner right there. This coil configuration where it wraps around the rotor, and that's also a ring magnet rotor as opposed to uh, like a bar magnet type of rotor there. It's just higher performance. And this is what you look at when you're building electric motors is performance. Uh, what's the better, better way to go? What's, what's a more efficient use of energy? And this circuit right here like I say, it was put forth by DadHav, and a lot of people have been using the circuit. Uh, it's a complementary two-transistor circuit, very, very old. It was just adapted to pulse motors with uh, a bunch of us, and DadHav was the first one I, I know of that uh, that did this. And um, like I say, this this was an application of it right here. You just take one of your Newman motors, if you have a Newman motor, and uh, wire it up into that circuit and you'll be surprised how long your Newman motor will run for. Uh, it's uh, very, very efficient. Thanks for watching.